Welcome everyone to Ivy and Juke Creations. If you're new here, my name is Kim and we all welcome you here and hope you decide to stick around and hit that subscribe button. All right, y'all, we're going to take some citrus strip and we are going to put it on this child's chair. I'm going to redo this chair for my baby boy who has his own baby boy on the way. And I took this chair out and I sanded and sanded. Could not get the paint off. I think they may have painted it with latex paint. So then I had to get the citrus stripper out and start stripping this paint down. So as you could see in the beginning of the video, I took a paintbrush and just painted the citrus strip on. And then I wrapped it up in plastic and let it sit overnight. Then I come back the next day and I scraped all the paint off and sanded it down and then I made a big mistake. The spray paint you just see me spray painting it left texture on this chair like crazy as if I had spray painted it with sand. So I had to re-sand it all the way down again and then once I got it sand all the way back down again let me show y'all this hat Take shipping paper and put it on the back of your sandpaper. I got shipping tape crazy this week showing y'all how to do the IOD packages and now sandpaper. But this piece of sandpaper held me up through the whole project. Um, any other time, it's uh, it'll rip on me and just shred and everything else. But it's still good to go for another whole project. So y'all try the sandpaper trick. See, you can pull on it and everything and it don't rip. So then I used it to get down in these little grooves right here in between the uh, boards. It was full of like that sandy texture from that spray paint. So don't do that. Or spray it on something like a scrap piece of wood or something and make sure your spray paint is not shooting out all this kind of texture. But anyway, um, here I'm painting it with Rust-Oleum's serenity blue and y'all this video is just a few minutes longer than the rest of the rest of my videos and that is because if you have been with me from the beginning you know that I struggle with embellishments or the final details and also you remember if you've been with me from the beginning in my first few videos, I talked about having OCD so bad that it's actually disabling to me sometimes. And here with these IOD transfers, y'all, I worked on this chair for two weeks. That is no exaggeration. God in heaven is my witness. But I could not let go of control on the placement of these IOD transfers. Um, here, I finally took the hedgehog, I think that's what it's called, and just said, Kim, put it on there. You've got to start somewhere. My mother-in-law came out and was helping me play around with placement. The hubby come out, and he got involved, so all three of us was playing with placement. And you see, I'm just giving y'all small clips of things that I was trying, and this was all day long here, and I got the hedgehog on and the two pieces of greenery up under him. And then once we take the chair inside, I'll show y'all several more clips of me just playing with placement. Oh, and by the way, this is IOD's Whispering Willow Transfer. It's beautiful. And as far as I got all day long, sitting there playing with placement. And I'd try this, and I would try that, and I just, nothing looked right. And the reason I wanted to keep all this in is because if there's someone else out there like me who struggles with the final details, placement, or OCD then I wanted this video to be some encouragement 
because y'all also all know that if you're not new here, that I'm a new crafter. And so if there's someone else out there that's a new crafter, you have OCD and you struggle with the final details, then I wanted this video to be an encouragement. So now we're back in the craft room and at this point I've done been playing with it on another day for many hours and finally I was like Kim put something on it you've got to start somewhere pick one thing that you think looks good put it on there and then build upon that and I don't know how many of y'all that watch Master Chef, but you know how like when time's up, they throw both hands up in the air like they're done? Well, I had to kind of do something like that to say, Kim, throw your hands up. Just put something on it. Let go of control. If not, y'all, I would have been here for another week playing with placement. But anyway, I stamp the word Dawson that's going to be my ninth grandbaby's name and I done that with IOD's uh, letterpress no typesetting with typesetting and now here you see I transferred the vine on and then I cut it because I wanted it to the, the limb of the vine the vine itself I wanted it to kind of go in the opposite direction to fill up this empty space over here so i just connected it to the the leaf that you see that's already transferred and then transferred the other leaf y'all i'm totally butchering this voiceover totally all right here i'm gonna take some of that vine and run it up on the side here and then kind of make it look like it's going around to the front and up to the the vine that I put on the front. And the good news is, y'all, is once I got the vines on, then it I would go through my um, transfers and I'd be like, oh, that's pretty. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks. Just Just go with it what feels right to you and I end up doing it in two hours y'all I started when I got started and said Kim you cannot sit here all day and play with transfers you've got more videos to do you got more videos to upload you cannot spend your life on this one chair let go of control and just have fun with it and so I timed myself, and y'all had done all the transfers on it except the hedgehog on the side of it, you know, on a different day. But, um, and then it wasn't so stressful. I was not stressed out, getting aggravated about, you know, what looks good, what don't look good. And I ended up enjoying myself. It was fun. Now, y'all see these little strawberries? It's a little mold that I got, and I was trying y'all see in the video that i tried to put these strawberries somewhere i kept trying and trying but then i made um some mushroom molds from iod molds and then a lizard now here i am playing just a little bit with placement but i'm fixing to decide where it goes pop some um Sherbon, what is it, y'all? Sherbonder glue? I hope that's it. But anyway, um, I'm going to start gluing stuff down here. You see, nope, can't keep playing with it, Kim. Got to put it down and move on to the next step. Got to put something down, move on to the next step. And here I'm taking the crown and putting it on top of the letter A in the name. Here, we're going to transfer some uh, mushrooms onto the chair. I'm 
sorry, y'all. I thought I was doing the A a while ago, the crown on the A, but I'm doing it now. And see, I lift it up and some of it stuck. So make sure you're ready to commit before you let it have contact because it can stick if you're not careful. But you just lay it back down, line it up, and you'll never know. And then we're going to take a turtle and then the ladybug. The ladybug, I put it right there on top of the mushroom. And here we go. I'm trying to start playing with placement again. And I have to remind myself, stop, Kim. Stop. Then I decided that the side of the chair needed just another little thing of greenery. So I put the leaf there. Here I am playing with some berries and the mushrooms and placement again. But as soon as I like something just a little bit, it gets some glue and put down or it gets uh, transferred on and move on to the next step. I am so undecisive. How many of y'all are like that? And it makes crafting stressful, and crafting should not be stressful. It actually turned out to be my outlet, my saving grace, crafting and this YouTube journey. But when I get caught up in my head and start making it stressful, because I don't think it's good enough. Um, I can't just, like, Ellen J. Goods. If y'all don't know who she is on YouTube, go check her out. That woman is so talented. She can just grab transfers and layer upon layer. And it looks like she don't even think twice about it. She just lays it down. I wished I was like that. And having the OCD and being hard on myself and struggling with placement and stuff like that, that's why I have not had another DIY video in two weeks because I have been working on this chair. And I meant it was not going to whoop me. I set the chair to the side so many times ready to give up and just start on another project for y'all. But then I was like, no, Kim, you cannot do nothing else until you finish this chair. One way or the other, you're going to finish this chair. So, and there's the final product. And now I'm going over it with uh, DIY's clear wax and sealing it in. And I will tell y'all that uh, I like this one. Not love, but I do like it. And then I took DIY dark wax and went around the edges and where you could see the wood where I sanded and distressed it back right there. And then I would wipe it back off. And that was it. I just done the whole chair like that. And I know this video, uh, I cringe even releasing it, uploading it, but... I've worked my butt off for two weeks, and it is what it is. Once again, it's part of letting go of the control, and here she is. Or should we say here he is? And I like it, and I'm proud of myself that I was able to finally let go of control and get it done, all the transfers, in two hours. I thank y'all so much for watching and coming back time and time again to support me. Y'all know I appreciate y'all from the very bottom of my heart. I want you all to have a happy, blessed Easter. It's going to kind of be 
bad around here where we at in South Georgia because it's supposed to be 60% chance of rain tomorrow and it's raining all day today. But I'm sorry it took so long to get another DIY video out, but I hope y'all like this one. And if nothing else, you at least got some inspiration from it. Um, either how to place your IOD transfers and molds and stuff like that, or I was able to encourage you to go pick something up, a project, let go of the control, and just have fun doing it. If it's stressful, you need to walk away and come back. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed weekend, and thanks for watching. And if you'd do me a favor, please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the project.